We go back uh, to our reporter, Tobias Chanji, to talk to us about uh, the 1,000 residents of Ngu Tatu plot number 817 who are facing eviction by Bandari Sako. The Sako has, construct, has constructed a block wall around the land, and uh, Tobias Chanji is on a standby just to bring us up to date with this story. Tobias Chanji, good morning. Good morning, Brenda. Well, these are residents of Ngutat who claim to have been staying here uh, since the year 2007 on this piece of land uh, that is around 386 acres. Uh, remember, this matter was pending in court uh, with the second party, but now, uh, to their surprise, there's also a third party that has come in, that is Bandari Sako, who've now constructed uh, this wall. And for them, they say it has been difficult even to make an application in the court of law. Uh, remember, uh, during this COVID-19 situation, it has also been hard. So for them, they want the status quo to remain between them and uh, uh, the second respondents uh, before this third party uh, can come in. But just allow me maybe to speak to one or two of them uh, to clear the air over this matter. Karibu katika maoja na yetu ya moja kwa moja labda tetesi zenu ni zipi. Kwa dek kambili. Asante. Kwa majina na itwa Robert Lugo, mimi ni mkazi wangu tatu. Uh, tuna kesi no, 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 no. Okay. Tuna kesi na Husenderi ambaye ana claim kwamba hili shamba ni lake na hili shamba kihistoria ni la familia ni la community. Uh, tumeweza kwenda uh, yeye alishika watu hapa kashitaki kutuna trespass uh, 2015. Uh, 2016 tukajaribu kuwewe file suit bado tunangangana na Husenderi kumetoka a third party. Sasa kile kitu ambacho tunashangaa ni kwamba ni huyu third party amejaribu kuangaisha watu sana hapa amekuja kuvamia wakapiga risasi kijana na saa hizi bado wamekuja tena kutuvamia uh, tumekuwa na huo vamizi tarehe saba mwezi wa ine ambao sasa kulikuwa kumetolewa order na waziri na jaji mkuu Justice Maraga that is an executive order ambao sasa vyombo vyote ama mashirika yote ya serikali yangepasa kuheshimu hiyo order order ambayo imetolewa ni press statement ambayo ndio hii hapa ambayo tunajaribu kuangaza kwamba hali hii isingeliweza kuendelea wasingeza kuja kutuvamia hapa na kupiga wananchi kuhangaisha wananchi ikiwa e, wanaongojea mpaka corona iweze kuisha tukirudi pia katika masuala ya koti ni kwamba Um, kuna kesi ambayo inaendelea kotini na jaji amesema kwamba hawana ruhusa ya kuweka ukuta mpaka kesi iweze kuisha. Naam. Labda tuniruhusu pia niongee na mama hapa tuanze na majina yake uh, na labda mama tetesi zako ni zipi na labda ni shida gani mnapitia mko katika ardhi? Mimi kwa majina naitwa Getu Dinazi. Mimi ni mkaji wangu tatu ambaye hapa nimekaa miaka hiyo yote ambayo tume tuko hata saa hii. Miaka hiyo yote ni miaka mingapi? Miaka minane ambayo ndio tumeketi hapa lakini sasa kwa wakati huu tunakuta watu wanakuja ambao ni mabwenyenye hatuwajui wanatoka wapi tunajua husenderi ndiye tunakesi na yeye hivi tunaletewa wengine ambao wanasemekana wana bandari sako na wanakuja na askari sisi siku hiyo walipokuja tulijaribu kuulizia hatukujua kunaendelea nini tulipo ilipofika hapo tukachapwa na hata wengine wakaenda hospitalini lakini kuna wale wanauliza labda hamuoni labda pia nanyi mlivamia shamba hili hili shamba tulivamia sisi tumaskota wa serikali tulivamia tumaskota tunajua tumaskota wa serikali maana yake mababu zetu ndio waliokuwa hapa tangu hapo hata saa hii ndio na sisi wenyewe tukarudi hapa maana yake hii shamba ilikuwa haina nyumba ya mtu ni msitu mtupu na wenyeji hapa tulioingia hapa tukakata msitu baada ya kukata msitu ndio yule mwenyenye akajitokeza akasema hapa ni kwake tukangangana hiyo na majaji kijaji wa nani wa washanzu akaja akatuambia tukae hata saa hii tulikuwa tumeketi hapa ndio tukoja ukoja bandari sako askiani ukwao sasa hatujajua bandari sako walipawana nani wala sisi hatujapawa na hao sijua tulio hapa saa hii wamejenga wanajenga ukuta wa futi nane na ili sisi tutoke kwa geti tunaambiwa tutawekewa geti tena kuna nyumba ambazo hapa zimejengwa na msaada wa nini wa, wa shirika 
Naam. Shukran kabisa kwa zile zako bila shaka labda serikali itaingilia kati na kusikia well those are sentiments from uh, squatters of Ngu Tatu here in Kimbeni just lamenting about this land that they say it is their ancestral land although there is uh, the third party that has come in and uh, there's nothing they can do because they can't even uh, go to the court to make an application due to the COVID-19 situation back to in studio Thank you so much, Tobias Chanji, for that. We had a straight, we go back actually to Nyeri County, and I know, I believe we found a reporter, Abraham Karanje, who's about to tell us. Uh